the landscape <clears throat> has changed very recently uh, with the sad news about the termination of the dosing components uh, of both the Roche and the WAVE trial. Both trials were targeted to identification and treating uh, the, the actual cause of the illness by focusing on knockdown of mutant Huntington. Sadly, uh, both trials have been stopped uh, uh, and we are still learning more about uh, why they are stopped. There are certain things we know. Firstly, the WAVE trial did not get target engagement, so they got no knockdown of mutant Huntington. Uh, and, uh, and also at high doses had serious adverse events. So that trial has stopped. Secondly, for the Roche trial, this was stopped about halfway into its duration. And the exact cause of this uh, is not known, but it's, it's, uh, it's certainly the patients were not showing any benefit over placebo clearly. Uh, and uh, there is a worry that patients may have actually been uh, doing worse. Otherwise, the trial would not have been stopped. So, so that's very worrying. The landscape at the moment, uh, in terms of late development for Huntington disease, uh, is only uh, has prolenia and predopidine. And predopidine is a very safe uh, uh, a profile drug which has a comparable results and tolerability and safety to placebo. So it's got a long history. It's an easy drug to administer. It's oral, taken twice a day. <clears throat> and this trial is now in, uh, in duration. The trial has started. Uh, there are 60 sites, 30 in the US and 30 in Europe. The trial is screening and enrolling at a fast pace. And we hope to finish enrollment <clears throat> by November this year and then have results from this particular trial by the end of 2022 or early 2023. What we're looking at for the primary and primary endpoint is the impact on functional decline as measured by an acceptable uh, endpoint to the regulators, which is total functional capacity. Total functional capacity is widely recognized and accepted as uh, a key measure of Huntington's progression. And as widespread, a widespread regulatory acceptance, the EMA and the FDA have accepted this as a single primary endpoint. And for patients and families, uh, this is what matters. This, high, this has impact on the ability to, to work, to manage finances, to have activities at home, to manage and to be taken care of themselves to operate independently and to prolong that becomes a very important goal and is the goal of our uh, proof study, which is a predopidine on outcome uh, in Huntington disease.